Good morning everybody. Welcome to our daily video golf blog. Today is Thursday, June the 7th, 2018. And I've started on Thursdays, which is technical Thursdays, talking about the power package. And we're doing it in a series of five. So we've done the first three, the first package, takeaway, nice and wide. Second important part, shoulder turn, creating good torque. Third part, weight shift, getting the weight over and driving the legs to generate power. Today, we're gonna to talk about the follow through and in particular, the extension. A huge power loss comes from golfers who have the chicken wing. Because what happens when that left arm breaks down is you create like a cutting motion with the club. The club does not travel down the line. The club comes in over here. And so you get this type of action or this type of action. When the club is giving the ball a glancing blow, no power. You want that club to be traveling and hitting right on. So the extension does two things. Not only is it giving you uh, power by hitting the ball in the middle of the club face, but also it helps with direction. Because if I want to hit the ball over the camera, I want my club to travel to where I'm trying to hit the ball. So the moment you have an extension, it pulls the club offline. So you start off like everything in the Mel Soul Golf School, we teach incremental learning. So the first thing I want you to do is do little swings where you just wide and just feel an extension out to here. Don't do a full swing. That ball didn't go more than 70 or 80 yards. Get the feel of doing that. And you can do, I'm doing it here with a driver, but you can do it with a seven iron or a sand wedge or anything, just hitting little shots, but getting to make sure this left arm stays straight. There's a training aid that I have on my web website called the Arm Tactic. If you wear that, every time you bend your arm, you hear a clicking sound. And that's great feedback to tell you whether you're breaking down that left arm and it's costing you a huge amount of power. But look at the slow motion, every time they do a slow motion on TV with these power hitters, have a look as they go through the ball and they're all got this V going through here like that. So you want to generate that not only for power but for direction. So when you go through, make sure you get a good extension. So I exaggerate it. Now, I still didn't do my follow through yet. I'm still just stopping over here, but I put a little bit more power. So next week, we're gonna talk about the follow through, but for now, go to the range, teach yourself to have no chicken wing, work on the extension. That's gonna help you hit the ball more solid. And of course, get more power, which is what you're looking for.